Hello and welcome to 140 Locust View Way, located in Troy, Ohio. Brought to you by the John Murray Group of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. Here we've got a two-story brick siding combo house. Gorgeous home here, featuring over 2,100 square feet of living, as well as four bedrooms, two and a half bath, fantastically fenced in full backyard, and just tons of updates to this year as we go along. So, first thing to talk about, it is kind of at the, the back side of a call road turns it gives this this house the feel of it's at the end of a cul-de-sac but technically this would not be a cul-de-sac it's just the way the road turns and works its way through this neighborhood it gives it that feel though for sure now taking a look at the front here we do have a covered entryway nice oval window above it now in the front yard we do have a very mature tree uh, offering some shade there kind of get a view on the left of the house here beautiful landscaping with some ornate trees See the split rail fence here as I mentioned the backyard is fully fenced in. Work our way to the right here. You're gonna see you got a two-car garage. Do have a newer roof here. Seller tells us it's about two to three years old. Siding was replaced within the last year. Air conditioning unit was replaced within the last year, and that garage door is brand new as well. So tons of updates, especially on the mechanical sides of things to give you some peace of mind. And just want to take a quick look at all this beautiful landscaping up front here before we work our way around back. Now I'm going to make my way around to the right side of the house here. We're going to work our way back through the split rail fence. There is access that direction. So we're just going to go ahead and walk ourselves on back here and take a look at the backyard. And again, another beautiful ornate tree here off to the side. Landscaping at this place is absolutely fantastic. I think this backyard is kind of a mini oasis to be honest. And as I come to this fence, I'm going to kind of give you a better view so you can get an understanding of what I'm talking about here. So full layout, massive backyard all the way fenced in as I mentioned before. Sellers that want me to let you know that the swing set does come with it. Now I'm gonna zoom in before I start moving around just so you can kind of get a feel for the different areas. So back here this fence line is gonna run back behind this evergreen tree and then you see that you got a taller tree here. Back behind there's a little bit of space as well. That whole area is a nice shaded area. And we'll work our way to the left some. Swing set that stays. We've got a little island here of shrubbery. Beautiful looking. And then over to the left, wide open space, as well as an additional flower planter area here as well. And then the back of the house is also going to feature a patio. So fantastic backyard. This is a really, really nice setup for someone that's got a big family, kids to play with, uh, dog lovers, tons of space back here for all those things. So backyard, absolutely designed for entertaining, absolutely designed for kids, absolutely designed for having animals. Just gorgeous in the way that this place is laid out. Now we're kind of getting a better look at the view of the back of the house here. We're going to walk around and you can see there you've got the back porch or patio, my apologies. We've got the back patio here set up for entertaining already. We've got the nice doors that's going to come off the back it looks like out of the dining area. Then as we mentioned before we've also got a new AC system as well so peace of mind on that piece of the mechanical back myself up here just so you can get a better view of the back of the house. Absolutely gorgeous looking. That newer siding, newer roof, really looking great on this house. I'm going to go ahead and meet you up at the front door and we're going to go ahead and start our way on the inside for the tour there. So we made our way into the front door here and the first thing you're going to notice about the inside of this home is on the first level the ton of open space that it absolutely offers. Now it does have a full circular floor plan on the first level and so we're just going to kind of work our way around through it. First just the view from the front door here. To our left we've got the family room. Off the family room you can see the entryway here as well as to the back you've got the living room. Now you call them family room, living room, whichever one you want. Huge foyer way here and this, this foyer is just massive in size. Steps here are going to lead us upstairs to the four bedrooms. And then to the right here is currently set up as a sitting room or office. Also could, could be converted into a formal dining room as well if a formal dining room is something that you're looking forward to. So we're going to make our way around to the left and then come right back to where we started here. So we're going to make our way in. First here we call this the living room. Right off the bat you're going to notice tons of natural light. Again, we talked about the open floor plan. We do have the nice Armstrong scratched hand scratched wood floors here. They are absolutely gorgeous. Paint job is amazing. Now we're going to work our way through from the living room into the family room. Get a good view of it here. Let me slow down a bit. Now you can see here they've got full size couch, two chairs, end tables everywhere, and tons of space. 
Nice fireplace here has been updated. Now I talked about on the outside the amount of updates that this house has gone through on the outside. The inside, just the same. Here we've got the new tile work. I just talked about the Armstrong hand scratch floors. Those are newer as well. Client says the TV can stay if you want it. See the storage shelves next to the fireplace here? Absolutely gorgeous. Now you notice the window to the right here does have a bit of a bump out bay feel. Now it's not a bay window, but it does bump out just quite a bit to give it that feel. And then it does give you a good view right into that backyard as well. We talked about that little mini oasis in the backyard. And just kind of get a feel of where we came from. Here's the front door. And then to the right of that front door, I didn't point this out in the beginning, but I will now, is a little coat closet there. From this family room, it does take us right into the eat-in kitchen. Now, we talked about where you could put a formal dining room. If you're a kind of family that eats at the couch or this is enough space for you, then use that other dining room area for that space like they are as a sitting room right now. Looking here at the total amount of cabinet, you do have a little pantry here, so plenty enough space to store the food, as well as additional cabinetry here to go with the kitchen. All of it matches, tons of storage space in this kitchen. I love this kitchen, it is gorgeous. You can see we've got the nice stainless steel appliances, all of those do stay. Beautiful white countertops, or sorry, beautiful white cabinetry with the butcher block countertops. Love this look, it is absolutely gorgeous. Just get a good look at the kitchen as I move around here. So you can tell, wraparound cabinetry all the way around, on the bottom as well, on top of these additional storage shelves here, tons of space in this kitchen. Now, we're gonna make our way down the hallway, starting to complete this full circular floor plan on the first level. Doorway here to the left is the laundry room. As you can tell here, we've got the updated flooring in here as well. Nice cabinetry. That's gonna take you out to the two car garage this door here is. To my right is the half bath. This bathroom also has been updated like much of the house. You've got the newer flooring. You've got the really nice sink and the base here made of granite. It's a fantastic half bath down. And then we're gonna work our way back into what I originally identified as the sitting room. And again, this is a room that could be converted into a formal dining room if you wish. Plenty of space. Also have a closet back in the corner here. This house has tons of closet space and storage. Tons of ceiling fans throughout the rooms as well. See a nice gorgeous ceiling fan here. And we've worked our way back to the front door. Now, I'm gonna close this front door real quick so you can get a view of what's on both sides of the door. I pointed out the coat closet on the right side of the door. Now let's look on the left as well. You got two coat closets, one on the left, one on the right, plenty of storage as far as the coats glow. Just take one last look here at the family room. All right, we've taken the tour downstairs. I'm now gonna meet you up at the top of the steps so we can take a look up there. Okay, so we've made our way up the steps here and right down here is the front door steps we came up. First thing I wanted to point out is the nice shelving little area right over here to the left of the steps once you get up top and then also the nice planner slash picture shelf at the top. Now, this could be used as a closet if you want to, add some doors to it. Here they're using it for display purposes. It absolutely looks gorgeous. I just wanted to point that out. Also the fact that we do have a cathedral ceiling in the hallway, and that's definitely a unique feature uh, that you don't see all too often. Now, if you're coming up to the steps, you get to the top, you turn right, it's gonna take you to two bedrooms on the right. You got a full bath in front of you, and then you've got the third bedroom and master suite to your left as you're coming up the steps. So we're gonna make our way to the right, and we're gonna take a look at the very first bedroom here. First, before we get there, do have a nice coat closet, linen closet here in between the two bedrooms. Now these bedrooms, for a four bedroom home, very nice sized bedrooms. I find that most four bedroom homes have very small bedrooms, not the case in this situation. Very nice sized bedrooms. Carpet upstairs, great shape. Looks like it's brand new. They tell me it's not, but, I, but when you get here and you look at it, this carpet does look brand new. Double closet doors, you're gonna find throughout the house in every bedroom, so extra large closets, tons of space. We're gonna make our way into bedroom number two. Bedroom number two has an amazing view of that backyard as well. I'm gonna just work our way around here through bedroom number two. Again, another very nice sized bedroom. Uh, four bedroom homes usually have some smaller bedrooms. Not the case here whatsoever. These bedrooms are huge. Now, all the lighting upstairs has been updated. Most of them are the new cost efficient LED lights. So again, more of those updates that we've talked about. Another view of that nice little shelving system to the left of the steps. And as you're coming up the steps, this would be your view. Right in here is the full guest bath. 
Take a peek in here, uh, updated flooring, really nice sink setup with a granite countertop in here as well. Full shower and tub surround. Tons of updates, guys. Tons of updates in this home for sure. Here, another linen closet. Fantastic place to put all the towels and bedding. Bedroom number three. Probably the smallest of the three bedrooms if I had to guess. Not a small bedroom at all though, but it is probably the smallest of the three. They're currently using this as a workout room. And then this bedroom also has a fantastic view of the backyard as well. And then again, as I mentioned, every one of these bedrooms are going to have that double closet until we get in the master suite, and it's going to have a full walk-in closet in there. Make our way around, back out into the hallway, and we're going to work our way down into the master suite now. Do not be alarmed, that's just me in the mirror there. Sorry if I scared you. Work our way out of the master suite. And I talked about the vaulted ceilings in the hallway. Master suite has vaulted ceilings in here as well. You can see track lighting on both sides as well as a nice ceiling fan. And this is a large queen size bed. As you can see, plenty of space on both sides with the large queen size bed here. These are not your normal size end tables. These are large end tables they have and it looks like they still have quite a bit of space on each side of those. Just trying to give you a size perspective of the bedroom here as far as that goes. Really large dresser here and still tons of space. Now here's the walk-in closet. From the door it doesn't look like much, but I'm going to tell you this walk-in closet runs all the way down this wall to the end. So that full wall is a walk-in closet, so massive on size. There's our entryway. Now back behind the door, and I don't think we've seen it when we came in, so let me walk over here and I'll pull this door closed real quick. Back behind the doorway here, you also have additional storage shelves, book shelving, whatever you want it to be, entertainment storage, plenty of space there for that. Let's walk ourselves into the master bath. Does have double sinks. These are individual sink pedestals with the granite countertop on those. This bathroom has been updated as well. So as you can tell, it's three for three on updated bathrooms. This house is turnkey ready, no work needed. Here you got a full soaking garden tub and this is massive, plenty enough space for two. Also got a stand up shower here as well. So you do have a separate shower and soaking tub and then you have your own private toilet area. Love it when these master suites offer these private toilet areas. This way both people can get ready in the morning and not be in each other's way. And then another unique feature here I wanted to point out is just to the left of the toilet is additional storage space there as well. Magazines, toiletries, whatever it is you want to store there. One last look at the main bathroom area here. Work our way back into the bedroom. One last look at the vaulted ceilings. And I'm gonna take you back out into the hallway. Just so we can get a full feel of this hallway. Again, I mentioned tons of space and this house does offer. Very open in feel. Alrighty guys, we've taken a tour of the entire house. I'm gonna meet you back downstairs in the family room for some closing remarks. Okay, we've made our way back down to the family room for some closing remarks. Again, this is 140 Locust View Way in Troy, brought to you by the John Murray Group of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. If you have any questions about this home, please feel free to give us a call at 937-654-7355. Again, 937-654-7355. Thanks and have a great day.